Elon Musk has sent out a terrifying message regarding SpaceX's next mission, which has left everyone shocked. Elon Musk is the undisputed champion of space technology, and since acquiring Twitter, even those who were previously unfamiliar with him cannot help but be amazed by him. While Musk's recent antics, including his unpredictable tweets and very public feuds with other billionaires and tech giants, may be keeping him in the news, for the scientific community, his company SpaceX is the main attraction. In fact, the company ready to travel to the ends of the known universe has recently made some startling revelations that have caused quite a stir. Despite our best efforts, humans have not yet ventured beyond the moon or the low orbit of Earth, which is less than a thousand kilometers above the surface of the planet. Elon Musk has recently hinted that SpaceX may soon be ready to launch the first humans to Mars and beyond. Elon Musk established Space Exploration Technologies Corporation, or SpaceX, in 2002 as a spacecraft manufacturer, launch vehicle operator, and satellite operator. The company is based out of Hawthorne, California. Elon claims that his goal was to make it financially viable to colonize Mars by expanding access to space. The Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, and Starship are the primary launch vehicles produced by the company. Many rocket engines, the Cargo Dragon and Crew Dragon spacecraft, and the ubiquitous Starlink communication satellites are also among the company's many products. Nobody should be surprised to learn that Elon is eager to send humans to Mars as soon as possible after hearing about the success of the Mars exploration missions. He contributed $100,000 to the Mars Society in 2001, gaining him a seat on the board of directors. He made the Mars Oasis announcement during his speech to the convention delegates. The goal of the mission was to send a small experimental greenhouse to Mars and attempt to grow plants there. Musk announced the formation of SpaceX after a trip to Russia with Michael Griffin, where he discussed his plans to use vertical integration, commercial off-the-shelf components, and the modular approach popularized in software engineering to produce low-cost rockets. According to Musk, this would result in a significant reduction in the cost of the launch. Years before SpaceX ever launched a rocket in 2006, NASA contractor administrator Michael Griffin awarded the company a $396 million contract. Mars, at an average distance of 140 million miles, is one of Earth's closest habitable neighbors. Mars is roughly twice as far from the Sun as Earth is, but it still receives adequate sunlight due to its proximity to the Sun. Compressing Mars' atmosphere, which is mostly carbon dioxide, nitrogen, argon, and a few other trace elements, will allow us to cultivate plants there. Since Mars only has 38% of Earth's gravity, you'd be able to easily carry heavy objects and run and jump with ease. The day length is also remarkably similar to Earth's. Musk has extensively discussed the significance of the human race evolving into a multi-planetary species in his public statements. In recent years, there has been a resurgence of interest in the topic due to the fact that climate change has raised concerns about the potential future appearance of Earth. It is to be expected that progress in the field of space exploration will be slow. However, SpaceX is largely responsible for the creation of the private space industry, which is now seeing multiple new entrants, including Blue Origin and Virgin Galactic, both of which are owned by Jeff Bezos and Richard Branson, respectively. After an absence of three years, SpaceX successfully launched their Falcon Heavy rocket, which is currently the most powerful rocket in the world. It has been a very long time since the last drink, due to a combination of technological issues and a lack of demand for their courier services during the years of the pandemic. SpaceX is responsible for the operation of the rockets on behalf of a multitude of other entities with an interest in space travel. Their clientele consists of a diverse range of organizations, including the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA, the space programs of other countries, and even affluent private individuals. This most recent trip carried satellites on behalf of the United States military, and as you might expect with a client of that nature, additional specifics are relatively difficult to obtain. The Falcon Heavy is still in its infancy, since this launch marks only the fourth time it has been put into orbit since its maiden voyage in 2018. Elon Musk's personal Tesla Roadster was used as a test payload during that occasion, which turned out to be quite the spectacle. It has not yet been located and is currently making its way toward Mars after completing a lengthy orbit around the Sun.
In 2019, there were two additional launches. One of these missions was the delivery of another satellite to the United States Department of Defense, and the other was the launch of a large TV and phone satellite for Arabsat, which is headquartered in Saudi Arabia. Both of these missions were successful. That does not imply that the engineers at SpaceX have been doing nothing but lounging around and drinking coffee since then. Due to the immense power it possesses, the Falcon Heavy is only necessary for transporting significantly heavier payloads. Because of this, the significantly smaller Falcon 9 rocket is utilized a great deal more frequently, and it has already carried out nearly 50 launches in the year 2022. The capability of the SpaceX rockets to safely land back on Earth is one of the characteristics that sets them apart from other rockets. In the past, rockets were discarded into the ocean, rendering them unusable for any subsequent missions. SpaceX is able to reuse essential components, which contributes to a reduction in the overall cost of the project. This is made possible by the development of technology that ensures the safe return of the spacecraft to Earth. It is seen as an essential piece of the puzzle for ensuring the viability of future space flight, and their competitors are working to replicate its success. After a lengthy hiatus, the Falcon Heavy will soon be used for a number of interesting missions. The Dear Moon Project, the first privately funded trip to the moon, is scheduled for launch in 2023. Yusuke Meizawa, a Japanese millionaire, is footing the money for this endeavor, which will see him and six to eight other citizens perform a flyby of the moon. Maezawa has indicated that he wants to use his space voyage to stimulate creativity. He plans to bring his finished artwork back to Earth and exhibit it as a means of promoting peace. These multi-billionaires aren't exactly known for their modesty. The Falcon Heavy plays a role in the larger strategy of sending passengers and cargo to the moon and, eventually, Mars. Along with the Falcon Heavy rockets, SpaceX has been working on their own spacecraft called Starship, which will assist NASA accomplish the first manned visit to the moon since 1972. SpaceX's Starship project is also the spacecraft they expect to be able to utilize to get to Mars. It's possible that humans will go to Mars and the Moon sooner than we anticipate. SpaceX President and COO Gwyn Shotwell has stated that a manned journey to Mars is feasible by the end of the 2020s. We should put people on the surface of Mars in this, in, within a decade. Shotwell recently told CNBC that he hopes to see people on the Moon sooner. To encourage people to seriously consider the idea, she continued, I think we need to get a large delivery to the surface of Mars, uh, and then people will start thinking harder about it. Within the next five to six years, people will realize that it is a viable tourist destination, he added. The goal of Elon Musk's enterprise is to make space travel more affordable for the general public. Starship, SpaceX's reusable rocket project, seeks to transport humans to the moon, Mars, and beyond. SpaceX has performed successful missions to the International Space Station, but has yet to carry humans to the moon. In addition, NASA has selected Starship for its Artemis mission, which plans to land humans on the moon's South Pole in 2025. However, Artemis also has a mission to go from the Moon to Mars in the year 2040, which is about 10 years later than what Shotwell had predicted. SpaceX has a leg up on NASA, which might lead to a partnership between the two organizations, especially since Musk's company already supplies NASA with a lot of high-tech equipment. On Friday, the third long-duration astronaut crew that SpaceX had sent to the ISS returned home safely, marking the completion of months of study into everything from space-grown chili peppers to robots. From its Texas home base, SpaceX is moving towards the first ever orbital test flight of the Starship. However, the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration has not yet completed their environmental impact report on the proposal. That pretty much wraps up this video, guys. Thanks for watching. So, what are your thoughts about Elon Musk's Mars adventure? Would you like to visit Mars if given the chance? Share with us in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some awesome stuff here which you will most certainly enjoy. Hit a like on this video and leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one.